All right, today at Gearbox Garage, we are looking at our new door we picked up off of Marketplace. It's a 140 mile an hour wind insulated, um, it's not fire, uh, but it's, it's heavy duty. It's got, um, it's got the lock, hand, hand lock and handle inside it's got a the emergency push uh, push bar that goes all the way across the door and it's got a heavy duty door enclosure uh, lifting that lid as it is sitting right there uh, it, it weighs about 70 freaking pounds so it's amazing at uh, at the door so what i've done was i have been taking some measurements looking at the trim trying to figure out exactly how everything goes um, it's designed to go into this spot here that one went right there and i took loose the angle iron that was down at the bottom so i can put that door in kind of get an idea of where it's going to sit and and then move it around left and right to to figure out what's going to be the easiest on the outside um, so basically it's going to go about there now what I'm measuring and what I'm paying, trying to pay attention to is where my cuts are going to be. Um, I don't want um, I don't want a cut to be on here because you'll never hide it. So you want it in this bigger section. Uh, so if I here is my mark from there over to here, so all the way up to there. And then over so this is the cutout so I can go a little bit wider of a cut so here would be perfect cut because then I, this is what we left and it'd be a nice flat surface that I can put my trim to so my trim won't be all jacked up and so it'll sit nice this side it's gonna have to be here so I'm gonna have to deal with this little bit of a rib um, I'm thinking maybe cut it here and instead of 40 inches I was gonna put me right at 40 a little over 41 and that's when I was getting the trim out. I was trying to figure out um, how the trim's gonna go on, where it's gonna go on, how much actually room I have um, to hide everything. And ah. so from there to there is 40 inches. And it's, as you can see, discolored, so it's, it's not painted. So the trim is gonna to have to go like so. So it sits um, so it sits like that. And then this piece is gonna to have to go up here at the top. So I'm just trying to figure out exactly where the panels, uh, side panels, wall panels are sitting and running against. And basically the wall panel will come in and tuck in under this so I can come in at an angle and put a screw and then the outside edge is, uh, is nice and trimmed. I would have thought that they would have offset this part with the door jam so that this and this would have been close to being um, the same uh, you know, flush instead of there being a recess. Um, it might look a little different once it's in uh, in the wall, but I don't want to buy more panels, so I'm making sure that the way I see it is actually how it, how I see it, and it ain't no surprises. Um, so, I, 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 measurements are done. The only thing I can do now is uh, go ahead and uh, cut the cut the hole. See how it works out. All right, we're back. I've got the hole cut, and it's roughly where I need it. I got the door standing up, and inside, I'm having to um, I'm having to change a few things. One is the little metal bar that's on that side. It went all the way across, so I had to cut out the door opening, redrill some holes so I can mount it 
that's what that one there it's going to go there um, I've got it sitting there I've got my header panel I got my header panel sitting here which ties into the that beam right now I'm working on this piece here and as you can see here that's what that one looks like when it's when it's cut and done and installed I got the bolts loose just so I can tweak everything so now with the door up I'm gonna finish this piece of metal here I'm gonna turn that uh, bracket around that bracket around mark and drill the um, header piece here and then get everything loosely bolted it bolted together and then I'll before I go outside and work on the J trim for the outside so see you in a few all right so this is the final video for the door series I've got it mounted secured all the braces all the trim and I love it, it works great uh, the trim was a pain it was uh, a lot stiffer than what I'm used to I gotta caulk it I just remember I gotta caulk it but the inside looks like so um, I ain't had to do anything I mean it was a uh, such a heavy-duty job that once I got it in and set and pretty much straight up and down it it was plumb and works beautiful love it gotta watch for those Craigslist and Facebook marketplace deals uh, I, th I got another one since getting the door and it's the um, it's fast line uh, aluminum airline piping somebody was finishing a job and redid some stuff and had uh, about 90 feet of the aluminum pipe and with fittings and a whole bag full of fittings so I picked that up next to nothing so that'll be a future video but the door I love it works great couldn't ask for anything else um, what I ended up doing was I had to cut these brackets to fit in this gap because it went all the way across they came with these little um, smaller screws right here and one of them broke off when I was trying to take it out so I drilled and added those four I put the half inch bolts that bolt that plate on I had to actually take this plate off and flip it around so that the tang went in instead of sticking out I had to do the same thing on this side I had to cut this down to fit I drilled and added those two bolts Flip that around and added those two big half inch bolts. I put my header in and I drilled and attached all those screws. Did the same thing on the outside underneath that rib, that rib, and this rib. I screwed through and put a 38 bolt in there. And, uh, and then I drilled and um, anchored.